Hi, my name is Brady O'Shea. I'm an administrator for McKinley Park Care Center, a skilled nursing facility in East Sacramento, and I am a product of Young Life. Uh, just to give you a little background on my experience with Young Life, uh, it goes all the way back to when I was in middle school. Um, I had an older brother, his name was Tim, and uh, he was kind of the crazy kid in our family. He was the one that was always sneaking out of the house and doing stuff that you know, my parents definitely didn't want him to do and they had no idea. And he was my mentor, he was my older brother, we're just short of a year apart. And so I'd always look up to him and kind of look to him for what life is about. Um, well, Tim, you know, was making a lot of bad decisions and I kind of was following along with him. And then when he started his freshman year in high school, uh, he started going to this thing on Monday nights called Young Life. And he would come home, he would tell me all about it and it always struck me as odd because he had so much fun and everything he told me had nothing to do with all the, the bad things that he was doing on the weekends and when he would sneak out of the house. And it really struck me as, as odd that my brother was having fun doing something that's good. And uh, so I started to see my brother change and uh, started to question some of the things that he was doing that maybe he shouldn't be doing. And, and you know, I'm like, is this really Tim? He's he's kind of changing into a new person. And so when I started high school, I started going to Young Life with him and now I, I, I kind of found out why he was changing. Uh, I started to hear about Jesus for the first time in my entire life. I mean, I'd always kind of heard about Jesus, you know, on billboards and bumper stickers, but I really did not have any experience understanding the gospel. And it was at Young Life where I heard it for the first time in uh, words and terms I could understand. And I remember it was then that I just decided this is what I've been waiting for my whole life. So I just moved to Sacramento. Um, I've been kind of hopping around to different places with my business and finally landed in Sacramento. And right when I got here, um, I knew I had to get connected with Young Life. Um, Young Life has meant so much to me in the past. And so uh, I got connected with Kevin Eastway, the area director, and decided that you know now would be a good time to become a donor. Uh, the reason I give money to Young Life is because I have no idea where I would be if Young Life hadn't played a part in my life, if Jesus hadn't used Young Life to kind of change the direction that I was headed. Um, it took you know, a Young Life leader walking on my campus, you know, leaving his comfort zone, and reaching out to a punk kid like me, you know, and having the courage to uh, build a friendship with me, and in the context of that, tell me about Jesus. And I, 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 I can't imagine where I would be if my Young Life leader hadn't done that. And so, um, even though I can't be a full-on Young Life leader right now as much as I would love to, I think uh, being a donor is a great way for me to help support what Young Life is doing in the community and all the courageous leaders that step onto high school campuses and go to high school football games and try to meet kids all for the purpose of hopefully drawing them closer to Jesus. If you're thinking about getting involved with Young Life in downtown Sacramento, I would encourage you to get off the fence and go for it. Um, I was on staff with Young Life for about eight years and in those eight years, I never once had someone say to me that they regretted getting involved with Young Life. If anything, it was people saying, man, I wish I would have gotten involved in this sooner because I love what you're doing and I love the impact it's having on kids. So if you're thinking about getting involved, you should go for it. Uh, there are so many different roles that can be played in the area, whether it's a donor like myself, maybe it's a committee member, uh, maybe it's a, a full-on volunteer Young Life leader, uh, maybe it's helping out with events or uh, just helping uh, Kevin in the office with paperwork. Whatever it is, whatever your gifting is, I would encourage you to kind of take that step forward and get involved with Young Life because I promise you, you will never regret getting involved.